Uh, hey, how's it going? Uh, this is going to be my first build video. Um, I really hope you like it. I've been a really big fan of um, a lot of other YouTubers who do build videos, so I thought I'd kind of jump in and do my own. Um, today we're in the Ash Heap, uh, just north of Walt Station, uh, you know, southwest of Mount Blair Train Yard. Um, I don't know if this is a really well-known spot, but um, I wanted to kind of do something with this pre-existing structure here. Um, and there's a little cute cat here named Murgle, which is a bonus. Um, I've already done a little bit. Um, I laid a foundation here, and I connected these two stairs underneath the map um, because I could figure out how to how to actually connect um, or w connect it without having it float. So um, it's connected. So I'm going to hide that later. But um, I'll show you kind of what I had in mind. I really wanted to um, get this spot. Uh, get something on top of this spot here. And so this kind of layout uh, works best for that. So, um, like I said, I laid my foundation here. Uh, this stairwell will go down, um, hit one um, floor foundation, and then go back up to this spot here. Um, and you can see there's two stairs here. Um, so there's the, the one beneath that connecting um, to the one foundation. All right, so let me show you real quick. We'll go in. Floors here. So what I'm gonna do is uh, just start building here. Come on. I hate how finicky this is sometimes. So I think I add, yeah. Um, add a half one there so that I can add a full one here. Come on. Okay. Okay, there we go. Come on, there we go. Sometimes these can be a little pain. There we go. Okay. So uh, that's it basically for the, the foundation at the top. Um, what I'm going to do now is just start building some of the uh, walls here. I'll start down here. Actually, no, I'll start up. Uh, before I do that, though, I'm going to actually uh, add some columns so that it looks supported, which is going to be really important. Um, I'll probably add more in a little bit, but um, this is just a good foundation to get going. Actually, here, let me add. Okay, okay. so now, um, so I'm going to add some. Balls up here. And what I might do is. Um, I'm really going for like a just kind of a scrappy vibe with this one. Um, nothing too crazy. Okay, there's that. 
and I'm going to switch some of these kind of designs around later. Um, yeah, I'll do this one. Actually, let's see. Basically, now. All right, then let's do some of these bad boys. This one will not fit here, and I have no idea why. It's really frustrating. Um, but instead, what I'm going to do is I'm going to put in a windmill here. It should fit kind of right snug in that little crease. I love the windmills because they are really uh, run down, kind of lore friendly. Um, and they just add kind of like a nice ambiance to the, uh, to the whole thing. So just make sure this is kind of good to go. Alright, that's not too bad. Kind of out of the way. Um, and then, yeah, so what I can do here is then just add in a uh, roof duh. Okay. I like these texture roofs, but you don't always have to use them. Alright, so yeah, here what I'm going to do is, I'm probably just going to do a, a a little fence so you can kind of look out and see what's going on outside. So this will kind of be like the bedroom area, the little living area here. And we'll, this will be like crafting um, and a few other things. Let's see, and then, okay, so back here I wanted to kind of hide this a little bit. Um, and so... Uh, what I want to do is add a, yeah, a junk wall here. It kind of just tidies up the area a little bit. Let's see what that looks like. That's pretty good. It's not going to fit exactly, but I just like to get most of it in. There we go. That looks good. Um, sweet. I think that's it actually for the just the basic core structure. Um, let me. Oh no, I need the roof. <laughs> All right. So we, uh, yeah, we just put in the windmill here. So I'm gonna put in a roof um, and finish off this section here, and then I think we'll be done. So. Uh, actually, before we do that, let me I'll actually wall this off. I think that'll actually look better. Do it like the top here. And for this one, I want to do a slope down, a slopey boy. Let's see. Nope. Yeah, that's fine. 
Okay, and then just uh, fly one here, and then we'll do a select one. Uh, take a look. I, I like the ramshackle look. So I'll do this is the log cabin one, I think. Come on. Alright, cool. So, I think that's kind of the basic structure here. Um, I'm going to head out and decorate, and then I'll be back with the finished product. Alright, and uh, here's the finished build. Um, I really like how this turned out. Um, I think it fits really well in with the existing structure. And the whole thing just kind of feels scrappy and, uh, you know, authentic. So um, let's take a quick look around. So um, as you can see here, we have this little vendor area here. Um, I usually just do one vending machine because I don't like to, to fill up my whole camp. But um, pretty basic stuff, just this little outcropping here. Um, underneath this, we have a little... Uh, I like that no vacancy sign. I love those neon signs. Uh, as you come in, you notice this little area over here is primarily for crafting. Um, it's really hard to kind of fit some things in here because uh, it doesn't like to uh, allow some of this stuff to fit. Oh my god, this guy's playing. <laughs> um, but all I did was, if you just use rugs, you can fit him in there pretty well. So yeah, um, the weapons workbench is a little harder to fit in here. There's like, wa it thinks there's water underneath there, so it doesn't like to put a lot of stuff underneath there, or on top of it, I should say. Uh, so just be cautious of that if you try to build here. Inside here, uh, this little room here, very few things will fit on this shelf. Um, you can see I have the ship in a bottle there, um, but things do fit on the safe, um, and things do fit on the floor and on the walls. So um, as long as you're just not using this table here primarily, then you should be okay. Um, but I mean, I didn't really have to add much here anyway, so um, it just kind of adds a little character to it. Because um, there's really not much else you can really fit in there, to be honest. And then here is this little, I still like the feel of this coffee shop, um, or the th thinking that it is kind of a, a still operating coffee shop. So I put a little table out here as well, um, with some chairs, and these stools are already there, so um, you can't really get rid of them either. But you can add stuff onto this countertop here too. So I just <laughs> added the bust um, and the little punch bowl thing there. Over here, um, so you can fit stuff under here. It doesn't fit immediately, but what I do is um, if you put it down on the ground, and then move it inside, it should work. But um, I was thinking this could be more of a um, a little drop-off spot or pickup spot for the Blue Ridge Caravan Company. So this is just like supplies and stuff that they can come through and pick up on their way through. Um, then we have uh, the south side here is another turret. Um, and this is where I have my little crops. Um, I don't have a lot of crops here. There's, I mean, there's room, but I wanted to kind of keep them in this little alcove thing. Uh, all right, and then back here, uh, what I ended up doing is, so I have the cooking station down here. I tried to add a cooking station into this, <laughs> this um, already kind of pre-existing cooking station, but uh, nothing was working. I was able to fit a, you can fit a fireplace or a, a campfire, I should say, down here. But the only way to do that is with a rug. Um, and when you place it, the rug, as you can see, uh, goes on top of this grating. So what I did there is I just put some um, death eggs on top. And every once in a while, this um, meat will spawn on top of the grate. So you can use you can grab meat from there uh, if you want. But sometimes it'll kind of clip into the egg to the eggs. But um, there's another spot right here next to it that'll that'll fill in. Um, so that's how I did that. Ok, 
Okay. Um, and then just a little decoration here. So um, my thought was that, you know, someone comes out here and cooks and then packs their lunch for the next day or whatever. Cool. Uh, let's head around back. And I like adding, I added, a, as you can probably tell, a bunch of these um, little bushes around. Just I think it adds a little bit of character, especially if you're in the ash heap and there's not a whole lot of like vegetation around. So um, I got the hay bales here to kind of uh, for farming <laughs> and to cover cover up the uh, the stairwell that I mentioned earlier. So back here I have the uh, my collectron fits really well inside there, and I don't like him walking around too much, so he kind of stops anyway. Um, but still technically collects, so um, he just kind of sits back there and hangs out. Um, I also have just added a bunch of junk and stuff back here. Um, some of this is already pre-existing, but um, to this side too, I also have added a bunch of just kind of random junk, thinking that this is kind of like a drop-off spot for appliances and things like that. Um, this little area here, um, I was going to try to add in a uh, another stove for uh, the other ally. I forget her name off the top of my head, but... Um, it was hard to kind of fit everything in here, and she wouldn't even go in here anyway to use it. So um, I just added an ice box, and uh, I pretend like this stove still functions, and so whoever's working here can still use it for whatever they need to. Um, and this is where I have the punch card machine too, because I think it kind of fits well in here. You're punching in, punching out for your shift or whatever. Um, so this is what it looks like from the back down here. Then, uh, like I said, on the side here we have the the crops, um, and then I just have this the rainwater bucket, and the you know I love these pumpkin racks too, so I like using those when when I can. All right, then I'll come up to the top here. So up top here is where I have my chemistry stations um, and uh, distillery. So, yeah, I usually like to kind of keep these together. All the time. Lots of chatter <laughs> back and forth. God, this guy will never show up. Um, so I, I think that they all fit really well together. Um, and I do like brewing a lot of stuff. Like I brew a lot of um, alcohol and uh, stuff like that. So I think it work, all works well here. Just a little outdoor seating area with some uh, some instruments, like a banjo and a guitar here, so people can come up and chill and hang out. Uh, over here is kind of like my little gardening area, like kickstarting uh, gardens and stuff. So as people are coming through, you can sell these, uh, you know, the little plants and stuff that you have or use it as uh, kind of a springboard to uh, your garden, like replanting some of these in your garden. Inside here, um, I have the... Raider Punk, he's just kind of chilling. Um, I heard something thing. interesting on the radio. If yeah, you got a moment. I bet I bet you did. Okay. So, um, yeah, I just have a station here. I was thinking about like merging it into something, but um, I didn't end up, do, end up doing that anyway. But, um, display case here with a couple goodies. Uh, bed. Um, I love using these like shelves as room dividers. I think they, it works really cool. Um, and you can, you know, I added uh, the cactus and a couple other things on there. I think it look, it's a good way to kind of divide the divide up the room. Um, I love this bed. It's not so flashy. Like I don't like the grimy bed because uh, I would never want to sleep on that. But I like this bed because it's, you know, you have a blanket, <laughs> so um, it kind of helps with the realism, at least to me. Uh, when you walk in here, so this is the kind of the little, little overlook area that I was mentioning earlier. Just a little bit of, um, you know, a, a clutter, I guess, to add to the feel of it. But I like the idea of... Oh, what is that? Oh, there's a Brahmin. Um, wait, what is that? Oh, no. Okay, done with that. Okay, so um, <laughs> I like this little overlook because 
What a headache that would be. These people will never shut up. Um, I, I like to think of like people just chilling here, like playing playing games or just like shooting the shit or drinking. Um, and seeing traders and things come by. I just I think that's really cool. Um, so yeah. So this is it hey. basically. It's really wanna uh hear something strange. Really small. Um, and the the problem with this place is like as you saw, there's um this is kind of a place where you'll see a lot of um scorched um no ghouls but like rad rats uh rad rats will come through um and apparently okay now we have super mutant somewhere there he is oh my god i think i'm on my building profile so my my shotgun's not working that well, but um, but yeah. So this is this is it. It's um, I really love it. Um, it's nice and compact and small. Um, it fits really well with the overall theme. Um, I added some trees as you can probably see too. Um, some bear trees because I think they, it, like I said, it fits really well in with with the vibe of um, the ash heap. So yeah, um, I really hope you liked this build. Um. If you do, subscribe, like the video, um, that would all be great. Um, so yeah, I mean, this is my first build video, so let me know what you think. And um, if there's anything, any suggestions you have or um, anything like that. So uh, thanks for watching. Uh, I'll talk to you later.